All right, guys, what's up, man? Putting up another video. Uh, I know there's like a million of these videos out here showing people how to tune up their drums. I have a 10-inch uh, Tom here, Pearl, Session Custom. Very, very nice uh, Tom here. Very good edges. Very good sounding. I actually love the shit out of these drums. Uh, but anyways, and for my love affair here with this, uh, I did this for a video for a friend of mine that he's got the same type of toms. They have the same type of suspension mount from Pearl here, the Optimount one. And basically, uh, he says that, and I do know this does happen, uh, it's kind of hard to tune because uh, these points here are a little tight. So when you're going around feeling it out for tuning, uh, it's always going to feel tighter on this because of the reason of, I guess, the grommet here uh, makes it feel a little different on the tuning. But I'm just going to show them real quick and you guys how I do it. Uh, this isn't necessarily the right or the wrong way. It's just how I do it and how I achieve my tuning on this tom and uh, also a floor tom that I have. It's a 14 inch. Uh, so let me go through it real quick. I just took this off because, you know, I pretty much I wanted to move it over because of the emblem when I put it on my rack it's a little weird looking the way it's on the other side but uh, I'm just gonna put it back where it was so for this uh, video what I had on here before was the Evans low 360 the G2 heads they were coated and a little secret out there for you guys uh, for you guys who like the coated but don't like, I mean, uh, the clears, but can only find them coated, you take some of that awesome spray from the 99 cent store, spray it on here, let it sit for a minute, I got another video on that to show you, uh, and it literally just melts it right off without even scrubbing, you don't even have to scrub, you just have to let it sit, R run it under the water in the sink and it comes right off. And what I'm putting on these today are the Remo Power Stroke 4. It already has the built-in little ring here. Alright, I already went and pre-did all this to break it in. Okay. You don't have to punch and squeeze and push the hell out of the center out of your, your drum head. This does it for you. All this is is that little glue that cracks. That's it. There's that's it. Doesn't damage the head, doesn't do anything. Okay. Don't go crazy there and commenting all kind of shit. Well, that's all it is, okay? Um, of course, doesn't matter how you put it on there, left or right, doesn't matter. Just see, test it out, see how it fits on there. And this one seems to fit really, really snug on this top. There's hardly no movement at all, no shifting. I like to put the uh, Remo logo centered out with the emblem here like that. It's just so I know where I'm at uh, when I set it up. Okay. So now pretty much what I'm going to do is throw the ring back on. Oh, these rings are the uh, super hoops. Make sure all the debris is clear and everything. No dust. Cleaned out the inside of the hoop also. Also going to center that with the uh, emblem. I want to wiggle it around just, just to see where I'm at. Shift it left, right, up and down until it kind of feels where she centers at. That's really important for these heads because Remo's not like the Evans where they uh, assist you a lot in the way of, uh, I guess, the way they sit around the edge. So I'm going to start to put the hardware on okay you can see that okay it's just gonna barely touch but I'm not even gonna tighten it okay of course this has six make sure you always put on washers or the plastic grommets they help hold the tuning and not just on there just to be on there okay 
I put those all in first. I kind of check the wiggle room and I look at the gap spaces between the hardware. What I mean is if this goes down and there's a gap, it should be the same on the other side, but if it isn't, I try to do it equally. That helps me determine where I'm at. Okay. This one's way off. Make sure that's down. And I'm not pushing. I'm not making the hardware push down on the hoop at all. Now here comes the bracket. I'll put it underneath there. Slide it off. And already they feel tough to turn with your finger because of the grommet there. So that's what a lot of people have trouble with as far as finger tightening down the tuning. So what I do is I hold it in place in the air until this key is really light to turn. Really light. Same thing over here. Okay, back off a little. Back off a little. Make sure there's still wiggle room in there. Okay. Okay. At this point, I want to turn around and do the same thing to the side. I only took off because, of course, I had the hardware on there. And I wanted to turn it around and make sure the emblem faced the correct position while I put the new head on. The bottoms are still the factory pearls, single ply. Uh, I prefer that. That's where you get your main resonance from. You want to make sure those are not impeding in any way. Okay. There you go. I'm going to turn this back around. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay. Now let's go back here. Now the hoop has play in it. Sales play. Moves around left and right, back and front, everything. So this is what we're going to do. Since these are the main problems, problematic ones, we need to feel out. Uh, and this is totally wrong to some people, but this is a, a completely different situation here. you got to remember on these up to mounts. Now we want to hold it down with your eyeball. Eyeball this. Push down on it and see where the rim sits flush around the whole head. And when you can do that, putting down pressure like this, hold this side down and try to leave it to where that's the way it looked. Not pressing down or over tightening, just to the touch until your fingers lit off. There you go. Okay. Now, what you want to do is finger tighten the other ones. Okay. And since those are already tight, not tight, but like finger tight, we're going to turn these here. Okay. Now we're going to do these. Okay. Back to these. Back to these. Just finger tight. And now push down on the center. And if we push down on the center, you can see the wrinkles are pretty even. Okay. I want to eyeball it and check the level of the rim, make sure it's the same, that the rim is not bending or warping this way as we tune it. So I'm going to check this out again. Okay. So now I'm going to finger tighten this a little more. Finger tighten these a little more. Okay. Go across here. Now, this is what I do, okay? It's very simple. I'm going to push down, and everybody should know this by now. It doesn't matter what point you start, just don't touch these yet. I'm pushing down, and I can see the most wrinkles here, so I'm just going to keep that constant pressure. Go a hair of a turn, hair of a turn, hair of a turn, and hair of a turn. Now, I can put my finger down on this and see that the wrinkles are about even the way they look when I push down around the whole head so now what I'm going to do is turn her over and these are a little tighter than finger tight now I'm going to tighten these the way they were Just there we go so it feels about right where they kind of stop with the lightest pressure
holes on this side. Perfect. Now, let me check her out real quick. Now, I'm not going to tap her too hard because uh, the volume is just, uh, I guess the distortion on this phone is just horrible. And it's probably not going to sound good to you, but in person it sounds a lot better. But I'm just going to lightly tap it. Hopefully that works instead of banging on it. So now, I want to see where I go with the wrinkles here. I'm going to tighten a little more here. A little more here on this side. A little more here. A little more here now. Now I'm finally touching these for tuning. Just a hair. Uh, actually, sounds pretty damn good, but I hear just a hair of a little. Try it with my key. helps with the overtones okay and it will it really helps with the tuning so here we go on your end it's not going to sound great because of the phone doesn't do it any justice but it was really that easy it's it it's done it's tuned i'm going to let it sit for a while i'm sure that it's going to move a little head's still going to stretch and then after that I'll come back tap it a few times and just see uh, what she does so hopefully that helps you guys out and uh, for anything in the future uh, and I uh, hope my boy Ricky sees this and uh, helps him out he's kind of far away I can't really drive up to his house and help him out but hopefully this will and uh, there you go man Another nice thing about this drum head, I should mention, since it has this ring, uh, when you test to tune it, you tap it just the hair in front of this ring, and it's going to uh, always give you a lot of precision as far as where you're tapping it and testing for tone, because a lot of guys sometimes will tap here, and then here, and then here, and then here, and then here, as they go around. But this is kind of a way of being able to see like a mark almost where you're tapping for tune. So there you go guys. Uh, hopefully this helps you out again, like I said, and uh, have fun brother.